What a great opportunity to discuss uh, the Portlands, and I understand there was 175 people last night at the other consultation. We've got a great crowd tonight. This is uh, part of a process that will lead up to a report to City Council in June, and everybody's input is so important. I think that the process that's been laid out by Waterfront Toronto and the City, and I want to thank John Campbell and John Libby for that, has been exemplary. And if all of our organizations in the City were to use such a method, we would have a much better City than we currently have. So I look forward to these deliberations tonight, and I just want to thank each and every one of you for taking the time to participate in building and looking forward to the building of this great, uh, we'll call it a new frontier down in the Portlands of the City of Toronto. So thank you. There's uh, four other folks here from uh, from Lura, which is my firm, as well as my colleague Nicole Swern's form, uh, firm. Uh, together we're providing facilitation services as part of the Portlands Acceleration Initiative. Where's Nicole? Right here. There's Nicole. Hi. Nicole will be helping uh, co-facilitate when we have uh, both some small table discussions and larger room discussions a little bit later on. Uh, Magdalena Volkatch is with Nicole as well. She'll be manning, manning personing a microphone as well. Um, Mark Vandewart is up at the front table here. Uh, he's our social media guy. I can't proclaim to know too much about tweeting and twittering and Facebook and all that, but we are trying to engage people through social media as well, and we had a lot of tweeting going on at the meeting last night and some activity on the website as well, which is up on the screen. Um, so we'll encourage you also to use the website after tonight as well. Um, so Mark will be uh, reporting on some of the, the tweeting action that goes on during the meeting as well. And Alex Heath is also at the front table as well. Alex will be uh, summarizing the input both during the meeting and after the meeting as well and, and taking the lead on preparing a report on tonight's meeting and last night's meeting as well. So none of us on your facilitation team have an opinion on the new frontier, the future of the Portlands. Uh, that's really up to you, it's up to Waterfront Toronto, it's up to the Toronto Region Conservation Authority, it's up to the city and members of the public and it's great to hear, uh, hear, to see so many people here tonight and as the councillor said we had 175 last night and we had 300 on Saturday so it's been a bit, a bit of a Portlands fest over the last three or four days and it's been fantastic. So our job here tonight is to help you have a good meeting and uh, this includes keeping our discussion focused on the Portlands. It also includes keeping us on time. We'll have you out of here no later than 9.30 tonight, as it says on the agenda, and hopefully a little bit earlier. We'll also be preparing a report on tonight's workshop, as well as last night's workshop on the results of the public uh, consultations. So the host of tonight, there's uh, really uh, two hosts. There's Waterfront Toronto, there's the City of Toronto, and the TRCA is also part of the project team for the Portlands. Um, acceleration initiative and uh, this meeting is part of the second round of consultations on as part of the Portlands acceleration initiative we had a big public meeting back in December where we had about 600 people attending and uh, this is round two there will be a third round in May or so uh, where there'll be uh, sort of a more uh, closer to final product coming forward we're sort of in the middle of the process here the uh, project team has done a lot of work with, with help from consultants and you'll hear about that in a few minutes and this is a good time to check in with the public and get some feedback on the work done to date and test some of the preliminary uh, options and ideas that are coming out of that work. So we have a fair number of people here tonight and um, we've set up the process so that we can have both discussions at small tables, sort of wedding style. Uh, and. Uh, <laughs> Hopefully you're not sitting beside the crazy ant that you sat beside the last wedding. Um, and also as a full room as well. So it's important, as some people reminded me before the meeting, that everyone be able to hear what everyone else is saying as well. So rest assured we'll have both discussions at, at the small tables and at the full tables as well. So if you could just turn to your discussion guide that you should have received as you, you came in. I'll just orient you to what's in there. On the front page is really a, a, a more concise version, a description of the process that I just took a bit longer to describe. The open house was on Saturday. Oh, uh, can I ask how many of you came to that open house on Saturday? Okay, so a number of people came, but a number of people are new tonight as well. So that's good. And then we're having 
So the, that the purpose of that open house was to really give a lot of information about the work that's been done to date. And the workshop last night and the workshop tonight is to really hear feedback on the work that's been done. So the, tonight's focus is really on feedback rather than information out. So hopefully we have lots of two-way dialogue tonight and I'm sure we will as well. Um, I just want to give one more plug for the website, which is also on the front page of your discussion guide. You can participate on the website after tonight, join the online discussion as well. So in your discussion guide is the agenda from Saturday, which you don't need, and the agenda for tonight. Basically the agenda is pretty straightforward. In just a, a couple minutes we'll have a presentation from Mike Willem, Williams with the City of Toronto. He's over there waiting in the wings ready to give you a short overview presentation. Those of you who were at, here on Saturday, or at the design exchange on Saturday rather, you'll recognize the presentation is quite similar, but for those of you who weren't here on, at the design exchange on Saturday, um, it will give you a sense of what work has been done and where the project team is at with the project. And then we'll switch into uh, discussion mode. There'll be uh, feedback sessions on, on the three topics, and Mike will sort of give you an overview of those topics. The three topics are flood protection, naturalization, and green space. It's really about the river and how it will be situated and, and moved through the portlands. Uh, the second topic is economics, markets, and financing. It's really the money piece and what the markets are showing and how we can pay for revitalization of the portlands going forward. And finally, development, planning, and phasing. So what order should things happen in and how would the planning unfold? Those are the three discussions that we want to have. Also in your discussion guides are the three questions that we want to ask you about each of those topics and they're really quite simple and they're on pages three, four, uh, four, five, and six of your discussion guide. It's essentially what do you like about what, what you're hearing? What do you like about the directions that are emerging from the work so far? Secondly, what concerns you? What don't you like? And why don't you like it? And finally, what refinements or changes would you suggest going forward? So those are the questions that we want to ask you when we have the roundtable discussion. And there's also a spot on your discussion guide for any additional feedback or advice, and, and that will be welcome as well. At the very end of your discussion guide is, if you want to take more time after tonight, up until April 15th, there's a place and a name for you to send that to, so you can take more time to fill out your discussion guide or you can go online and provide your comments as well. So feel free to hand in your discussion guide tonight if you wish, or uh, take it with you and use the website after tonight, or submit the discussion guide uh, to the location on the, on, the, on the bottom of the discussion guide. So that's the format for tonight. Uh, it's interactive, it worked well last night. We hope there's lots of time for dialogue, both at the small tables and as a full room. But to get us started, we're going to have an overview presentation from Michael Williams. He's the head of economic development for the city, and he has about uh, 15 minutes worth of presentation to share with you. Michael.